Hello everyone, this is Ashwini Dasgupta from Chinta. Today, I want to talk to you about the IOQM course at Chinta.com. It's part of our flagship Math Olympiad program. You can see the link in the description for more information on this particular course and resources related to it. So first let me tell you a little about what is IOQM if you have not heard about it before or if you were new to it. So it's the first level of mathematical Olympiads in India, the real mathematical Olympiads in India. So this year in 2022, it is scheduled on October 30th. It's a number type uh, contest, which means that in this three hour duration of this particular contest, all the questions will have integer type answers between 0 and 99. There are three types of problems in this particular contest. There are 10 questions of two points each, uh, 12 questions of five points each, and two questions of 10 points each. So you have to be very careful in understanding this problem structure because those last two problems will be the most crucial ones. Those will be the differentiating factor. They are trying to select only a handful of people for the next level that is the INMO. So I'll talk about these last two questions in later part of this video. So keep on watching. One word about fake Olympiads, there are many of them, I talked about it a moment ago. One bad thing that these fake Olympiads do is create a false sense of satisfaction in the children and the parents. They get gold, silver, world rank this, India rank that, and then they become very happy. They say that, okay, we have such great skills. But in reality, when they come to do the actual Olympiads, they find the questions to be very different, much more challenging. And the parents and the students suddenly feel that, okay, this is something very different. Am I good in mathematics? Am I not? What's going on there? So you have to be, be, very, be very careful about these fake Olympiads because they are actually doing harm, more harm that they, than, than any benefit that they may have. So be careful about that. Now coming back to the IOQM. So what are the benefits of taking this particular contest? Of course, it takes you to the next level. In India, the next level of mathematical Olympiads is the INMO, the Indian National Math Olympiad. It's scheduled in the month of January. And it's also useful. IOQM is also useful if you plan to apply for universities abroad. Because first level of mathematical Olympiads is very prestigious if you have that in your kitty in your cv then that can impact your admission chances into the best universities of the world if you check the link in the description you will know uh, you, you can find more about such success stories students who have gone to harvard mit and other places from chinta using the tools from mathematical olympiads their success stories from there and finally, I think that's the most important reason you should take the IOQM is because it builds a strong foundation in non-routine mathematics, problems that you will not find in school, problems that makes you think and, you know, immerses you into the world of mathematics. So you fall in love with the subject. That's really the actual reason why you should be taking contests like this. Let me tell you a little bit about the Chinta IOQM course. It is designed in a very peculiar way. We have designed it over 10 years now. So uh, we know exactly what works, what has historically worked. We have data on that. So this program is focused on IOQM and INMO. You can find the curriculum of it in the link in the description. There are two tracks in the program that work simultaneously. And both of these tracks are very essential for success in mathematical Olympiads like IOQM. The first one is the expanded concept classes. Now they complete all the concepts over the period of one year. 
and I'll tell you a little bit more why you should actually invest one year to go through the concepts. The other track which sort of condenses the entire matter into problem solving classes. Five problem solving classes happen every week and using problems we go through all the concepts in IOKM through over a period of 12 weeks or, or three months and we do that over and over again so in a year time you will do that four times so you can learn about the success stories of Chinda in the description and understand how this two track method has actually worked to help students over the years for example Arjun Gupta in the Indian IMO team uh, this year in 2022 Anushka Agarwal the EGM awardee the European Girls Math Olympiad awardee and many others are there like them so in the Chinta IOKM course you have to understand that there are two components it's a combination of RMO and PRMO so if you don't know what these are let me tell you a little bit about them earlier there used to be PRMO which was an easy first level and then came RMO which was the second level and in this particular level there were like six subjective problems what they have done is they have combined PRMO and RMO into a single contest called IOQM so the difficulty level of that is expected to be somewhere between PRMO and RMO so you will need special training to do well in IOQM if you do just school level or maybe a little bit of IIT level material you can probably go through the 10 two points questions you can also probably go halfway through the uh, 12 5 marks questions but remember the two 10 marks questions the real crucial differentiating factor of IOQM that will be we expect it to be somewhat closer to RMO standards this year and that requires extra and focused training in uh, topics like number theory in geometry in combinatorics and algebra in algebra there are many subtopics like inequalities functional equations it's a beautiful world of mathematics but you have to really immerse yourself into that I've also added a link in the description for some beautiful books that you can use to prepare for this now I told you earlier about the expanded classes uh, expanded course takes one year and we believe that fast forwarding can really be harmful you just don't want to rote learn some formulas it doesn't work like that deep ideas take time to sink in in the mind of the student and become st and students need time to be skillful in them otherwise you can just go through a bunch of formulas and nothing really will happen and in the long run if you take time to learn something in the long run that will be very very useful for you this year's IOKM or next year's IOKM or some other contest those skills will stay with you and help you to do better problems and fast forwarding in our experience in the last 10 to 12 years of experience really does not work for Olympiad standard training but then we have the problems track you know the two tracks of the Chinta Math Olympiad program one is the expanded concept classes that happen over the year and the problem track repeats the concepts in three month chunks how do how do they work well the main principle is this you only learn a concept if you have learned it using a problem if you just learn the formula or the theory it doesn't really count you have to know how to apply it so that's where the problem tracks the problem solving sessions come very handy so every 12 weeks we go through the entire arc of ideas all the ideas in the math olympiad program for IOKM through problems problems from different math olympiads from taken from all over the world of course the concepts are not dealt very deeply here we are mostly focusing on the problems but some of the portions of the concepts are also expanded and used and explained in those problem solving sessions now this three month chunk repeats four times over an entire year of preparation think about it 
in the 12 weeks time you get exposure to 250 beautiful problems problems that really made you think and over the year you spend time with about 1000 or more problems of mathematical olympiad caliber in our experience this two pronged method problem classes and concept classes together they really have worked for our kids so you can also understand more about that by going to the link in the description so thank you for watching this video i will see you in the next one thank you